We just happened to visit Death Valley in their famous Super Bloom, which happens about once every decade or so when the conditions are just right for incredible flowers. But with that comes incredible crowds, and in true switchback style, we had to find ways to get out and beat them. Uh, these fields of desert golds just blanketed the land, and they were right off the road, so it was so beautiful. But the hiking itself was also beautiful, going through the canyons carved by massive flash floods. There were just crazy badlands where the colors of the rock were blues and greens. And you can see here is Artist's Palette in the distance. There were even slot canyons like this one in Mosaic Canyon that you could wind through. And here's Golden Canyon where we ran into some friends for the day. There are just so many ways you can explore the infinite branches. This is Ubahibi Crater, a giant crater formed when magma hit groundwater and made a giant explosion. At Badwater Basin, we were hit by incredible gale force winds, stronger than anything we've seen yet. Here is Devil's Golf Course, and then rain? We were really surprised to deal with rain most of our last day in Death Valley, uh, but hopefully that helps the flowers. One of our final steps was playing on the dunes. You might be able to hear I added my own sound effects. We love just running all over the place. And at the end of the day, we got into the back country for some free camping for two nights, the nights we weren't at Sunset Campground. Just incredible views. And then for Sunset, we went to Zabriskie Point and got this amazing panorama. But I can't tell which was better because this is Dante's view, which gave us another incredible view of the Salt Basin, which is all that white area. We just love Death Valley.